Good evening. Good evening, everyone. We are almost ready to begin. Uh, our students in just a few minutes are going to be coming in the back doors and coming down this way and around this side. So if you are standing or sitting around this pathway in the back and around the side, I do need you to relocate somewhere. Maybe we can squish in and make room for those. I see a few empty seats up here. There's a few empty seats upstairs, but if you're standing in the back right here or over here on this side, standing or sitting, we do need to make room for the students to come through. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. This is the real start. <laughs> I think this is the first time in the history of Great Hearts that we've been able to start an event early. So thank you to all of you and congratulations. Welcome. Welcome to the fifth annual Great Hearts Forest Heights 
lower school winter concert. For those of you who haven't met me yet, my name is Ann Kathleen Barushko, and I am honored to be the lower school headmaster and honored to be here tonight. I'm so grateful, so grateful for all of you for taking the time to be here tonight, for taking the time to join us in this celebration of song. You probably know that as a classical school, we focus on the pursuit of truth, goodness, and beauty. The study of music is an essential part of our curriculum. To study music is to experience beauty. Plato says, music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life to everything. I hope that the music that we have prepared for you tonight gives you life and allows you to experience beauty. Our students, your children, have been working so hard, along with Mr. Stroud, learning this music for the past several months. And tonight, our students are so excited, so proud, and a little bit nervous to stand up on this stage and show you their hard work. Okay. In our, in our music classes, we not only teach music and concert preparation, we also teach the students about concert etiquette. Our students learn to sit quietly during musical performances. They learn to show their appreciation by clapping respectfully after performances. They learn that the expectation for showing appreciation at a concert is different than showing appreciation at an NBA game. So at this time, I ask that you please silence your cell phones. Please do silence your cell phones. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy these musical performances that Mr. Stroud and our students have worked so hard to prepare for you. If you desire to take pictures during the performance, please be mindful of others in the audience. Please do not block the view of others while you are photographing. Without further ado, I'm proud to present to you Mr. Stroud and the Kindergarten Choir.
Well, good evening, everybody. My name is Owen Stroud. I have the joy and the privilege of being the kindergarten, first, and second grade music teacher at Great Hearts Forest Heights. I'm delighted to be able to teach your children about the joys of goodness, truth, and beauty every day through music. It's quite an honor. You know, I've been playing musical instruments for over 20 years now, but I've been a musician for as long as I can remember. I, there's never been a time when I couldn't recall just how much music moved me, whether that was hearing orchestral instruments artfully blended together, or seeing the color of the instruments up on a church stage, or hearing a cousin show me the French horn, or strumming the strings on the guitars in the showroom at Straight Music in Northwest Austin. I loved that place. Well, all those memories are so strong still, and I remember what it felt like to be a kindergarten or first or second grade age student. And I remember how it felt to hear the exhilaration of the opening strains of Tchaikovsky's B-flat minor concerto, or the peaceful feeling of Mozart's flute and harp concerto, or uh, the Beast du Bamir song that I was just playing with our esteemed uh, uh, violinists and cellists over here that we're going to hear later on tonight. And why do I say all that? Well, it's because I get to share with your students all these things that mean so much to me that I personally experienced when I was their ages. And there's something about this age group that really means so much to be able to share those music experiences with them. In kindergarten this year, well, it's their first time in the big school. And I hear them talking back there, but their voices are off. They're checking out the live stream up there. They're, oh, there's screens up there. Who knew? In kindergarten this year, we have been establishing contrasts, learning what it means to describe music. How do we describe what we hear? What is the difference between soft and loud? The difference between slow and fast, or that is, as musicians would say, largo and presto. We've been learning to distinguish between high and low sounds. We've been learning some pieces in other languages than just English. We've been learning some, a German song and a Spanish song. We've been putting so much work into all these concert pieces, and now they are ready after about four months, they are ready to present these songs to you. And so I do again ask that you would silence your cell phones and be mindful of other people around you if you think about recording. We will have a, a future live stream available. You can go back and watch. For now, we're going to get started with our kindergarten program. And for that, I need Ms. Harper Croc to come on down. Good evening, my name is Harper Croc. Good evening, Harper. What is the first song that kindergarten will be singing? Niño Querido. Niño Querido. Tell me about this song, Harper. It's an old lullaby from Mexico. Tell me what's going on in this song. The mother says, go to sleep, little one, while mother looks for food. Harper, what does this song make you feel like? It makes me feel like very good. Very good. All right. Well, Harper, what has been the hardest part about learning this song? I don't really know. It's all been a breeze. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Harper Crock. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Nino Carrido.
Good evening, everyone. My name is Sathik Shrambudi. Good evening, Sathik. What is the second song that kindergarten will be performing for us? Band of Angels. Tell me about this song, Sathik. It's an old American counting song. Ooh, a counting song. You know, I love numbers, Sathik. You know, my favorite number is one billion. Let's see who can count there first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, 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 no. We're not counting that high. We're just counting to ten. Oh, we're just counting to ten. Okay. All right, well, Sathik, that reminds me of math. What are y'all learning in math these days in kindergarten? Patrick says putting numbers together and making a whole number. That's fantastic, Southwick. Now, you've told me you have a little sister. What does she do when you sing this to her? She copies it. And how old's that little sister? She's two months old. <laughs> well, how about that, Southwick? You're going to have a little sister who's going to be doing a lot of copying. Just get, get ready for it, but uh, she's got a good big brother to be copying. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Band of Angels. Connor Frost, come on down. Good evening, my name is Connor Frost. Good evening, Connor. We are on song three now. What would song three be called? It snows in a night. Okay, now Connor. It doesn't snow very often around these parts, but you've mentioned a time when it snowed. Can you tell me about a time when it snowed? Me and my brothers were playing on the trampoline. Instead of using the ladder to get on, we used a snow pile, and me and my dad made a snowman. Well, that sounds fantastic, Connor. Maybe we'll get the chance again this winter, although maybe not as much as last time or quite as long. Ladies and gentlemen, it snows in the night. Thank you. 
right, for our next song, I need Elizabeth Graham. Come on, come on down. Good evening. My name's Elizabeth Joan Graham. Good evening, Elizabeth Joan Graham. What is the fourth song that Kendra will be singing? My Bonnie Lays Over the Ocean. Ooh, I like this one. You know, Elizabeth, I was about your age when I first heard this song. And I couldn't get it out of my head. But uh, here's the problem. I didn't know what Bonnie meant. What is Bonnie? Bonnie is your friend who lives far, far over the ocean. I see. Elizabeth, do you have any friends who live far away? No. Oh, okay. All right. Now, uh, Elizabeth, um, what type of song is this? It's a waltz. Now, tell me, how does a waltz go? It's something that goes boom, cha-cha. Boom, cha-cha, boom, cha-cha. Very good, Elizabeth. Ladies and gentlemen, we have My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean. Asher Gilliak. Good evening, my name is Asher Gilliak. Good evening, Asher Gilliak. We are at our last song now. What is that last song? Lazarito Deshmi. Ooh, and that doesn't sound like it's in English, Asher. What language is that? It's in German. The most popular Christmas kilt in Germany. Okay, now for those of us who don't speak German, can you tell me what's going on in this song? The snow comes floating down softly, and the lake's very calm, and everybody's excited about Christmas time. All right, that sounds wonderful, Asher. Uh, what do you like about this song personally? I like that it's in between piano and forte. More presto than, like, Largo. Okay, well, we'll find out if it gets uh, presto later on. Thank you so much, Asher. Ladies and gentlemen, Liza Riesselt der Schnee.
Thank you so much, everybody. This is kindergarten. Let's give them one more hand. All right, we will be back shortly with first grade, very soon. Wow, wasn't that amazing? Thank you, Kinder. Parents, if you are a kinder only parent, if you are a kinder only parent and you don't have another child in the concert, I know it's getting late. If you're a kinder only parent, feel free to quickly and quietly exit if you'd like to pick your child up from the John Wesley room, if you're a kinder only parent. If you can just do that quickly and quietly without bumping into first grade.
Well, welcome back, everybody. We are now on the first grade portion of our winter concert. First grade humors me a little bit because I always get half of them at 8 a.m. and then the other half in the afternoon. So, you know, I'll get 1A and 1B in the mornings at 8 a.m. and I have 1C and 1D in the afternoon. So it's very, very different. You know, those first graders, first thing in the morning, they're all blinking owlishly at me, you know, like owls have just woken up. And uh, I'm trying to get them to, to have a little bit more energy. So it's all I can do to just bring some energy into that 8 a.m. music class. And then 1C and 1D in the afternoons, it's turbocharged. They're ready. They just come back in from recess. They're ready to roll. And I've got to tame it down a little bit and channel that energy. So it's uh, been really special to hear all four sections in the MPR in our practice room at the school these past few days to hear both of those dynamics all at play at once. We've been, just like the kindergartners, con con continuing to learn to control our voices so that we're not only loud all the time and we're not only soft when we get in front of people, but we learn how to sing piano and forte and a whole lot of other terms like largo and presto and all sorts. Well. Uh, the other thing about first grade this year is that I, we've got quite a few pieces in other languages than English, which is great. They're getting exposed to Welsh and Czech and Spanish as best as they can get it when distilled through my Texas accent, I realize that. But one of the funny things has been, uh, even though they know what the words mean, I've told them what some of the words mean, the challenge has been trying to, uh, to well, come up with creative ways of helping them remember words that uh, they're not familiar with. And so we've had many a good laugh in music class, haven't we? We've had many a good laugh as we've uh, come up with creative ways to help us remember the Welsh lyrics and the Czech lyrics. And it's taken a lot of work, a lot of practice of memorization, but now they stand in front of you ready to share their songs. And so for the first song, I need Miss June Bell to come on down. Good evening, my name is June Bell. Good evening, June. What is our first song for first grade? Michael Rose Boat Ashore. All right, tell me about this song, June. It's an old song that people will be singing while they're working hard rowing a boat and thinking well, there's going to be a time where there's going to be no sadness anymore. That's wonderful, June. How does this song make you feel? Uh, kind of excited and it makes me feel happy. Okay, very good. June, what's been the trickiest part about learning this piece? Uh, that it has seven verses, and we're also working about that it has piano and forte. That's right. Very good. Thank you so much, June. You can head back up. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Michael Rowe, the boat ashore.
Miss Anya Katz. Good evening, my name is Anya Katz. Good evening, Anya. What's song number two here? Are he a nose? Who had a nose? No, are he a nose? I'm saying in Welsh, but in English, it is all through the night. Okay, well, tell me about this song. I, it's a soft and gentle song. Now, Anya, if you were to teach me how to sing this song, what would you tell me? I would teach part by part and to sing soft and fairy like you are a baby and you don't want to wake it up. Yeah, we don't want to wake the baby up. Um, uh, Anya, what do you mean by soft and feathery? <laughs> like gentle. Oh, like a feather falling through the air. I get it. Okay, that's great. That's great. I wonder who thought of that. Okay, wonderful. Now, uh, Anya, uh, I heard that you play a, uh, an instrument. Tell me about the instrument that you play. I play the violin. I can play three Christmas songs. Oh, Christmas tree, we wish you Merry Christmas and Jingle Bells. How about that, Anya? I would love to hear that sometime. Can you play for me sometime? Great. All right. Thank you so much, Anya. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our heat and nose or all through the night. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. I love hearing y'all sing. Next, I need Sienna Palanca Vendrell. Come on down. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sienna Palanca Vendrell. Good evening, Sienna. And good afternoon, because it is still afternoon. <laughs> Technically. Sienna, what is the next song that first grade has for us? Tell me about this song. It's 
It's a beautiful Mexican lullaby. Okay, and what has been the trickiest part about learning this song, Sienna? The second part, because the lines are all mixed up. Ah, it's very easy to get those lines mixed up. We've worked quite a bit on that, and uh, I like how it's sounding, so y'all get y'all about to get to find out. Um, Sienna, how do you know Spanish? Because I speak in Spanish at home, because my mom is from Puerto Rico, my dad from Mexico. That's wonderful, Sienna. Thank you. All right, well, you can head back up on the risers. And ladies and gentlemen, we have A La Puerta del Cielo. Mr. Rayant Biancar. Good evening. My name is Rayant Biancar. Good evening, Rayant. What's our fourth song? Little children get on board. Very nice. Rayant, what has been the trickiest part about learning this song? Like, like the last part, the third verse is kind of hard for me. Oh, that's right. What do we have to, how do we have to sing all at the same time? Uh, fast and choppy. That's right. We take this at a pretty good pace. Now, Rayanch, have you ever been on a train? I went I learned to Los Angeles, and then the train riders let people getting off. Why did they make people get off? Because there were, there were no space for anyone. Oh my, okay. All right, no more space on the train. Well, on this train and this song, there's room for everyone. Thank you so much, Ray Anjbuy and Carr. And we have Get On Board, Little Children.
Okay, I gotta brag on these students for a little bit uh, after that song, because I introduced that kind of late in the semester and was not sure if they could pull off the soft, fast, and choppy needed to do that at that pace, but I'm very proud of what I just heard, y'all. That was wonderful. All right, we have one more song in our first grade lineup. And for that, I need Miss Sophia Dylan Vendrell. Come on down. Good evening, my name is Sophia Dylan Vendrell. Good evening, Sophia. We're at our last song for first grade now. What would that song be? Aminas Ponbu. Tell me about this song, Sophia. It makes me happy and it reminds me of the first time I went to the pool. I was so happy and excited. That's wonderful, Sophia. Now this song is in the language of uh, Czech, which comes from the Czech Republic. Uh, when would people sing this song? At the end of a party. All right, well I think that's very fitting that we finish up our first grade portion with Avinas Pandey. Sophia, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Avinas Pandey. And that concludes our first grade portion. At this point, the teachers will come back up and escort our students off of the risers. And we'll be back with second grade in just a few minutes.
Check, check. All right, welcome back, everybody. We are now ready to hear our second graders. I mention this every concert, but this particular group is special in my memory because they were my first kindergarten class back in fall of 2021. And I've seen them through kindergarten, and through first grade, and now second grade. So I'll have been their music teacher for all three years, and they'll have been in my music classroom for all three of those first three years uh, in elementary. That's something really special about getting to see a group of students for that long. You see them grow up. They were real little when they first came in, and now they're much taller. It's wonderful. And I'm so proud of the work that they've been doing. I've thrown some tough ones at them this time around. And every time I look out at the classroom, I just see these faces that are very familiar. They've been in my classroom a lot, and I see them working hard. They know what to expect. I can be a little tough with them, be like a coach a little bit. And we know what we're working towards. That's such a special thing to have as a teacher, and I'm so proud of these, these second graders. So to start us off, we need Mr. Thomas DeLeon. This next song is a poem made by a poet from Scotland whose, na whose name is Robert Burns. We'll try to do this song in our best Scottish accent. I like the tune of this song. It reminds me whenever I'm scared to do something, but it turns out it's not scary at all. Please enjoy Call Blouse the Wind. Thank you. 
Next, I need Miss Anil. Come on down. Good evening, my name is Nyla Enya. Our next song will be an old Yuletide care from England. People would sing this song in the banquet hall to celebrate their big feast at the end of the year. This song mixes English and Latin together. I like this song because it's calming and fun to sing. This song reminds me of being at home with my family and eating a lot of food. Miss Lammy. Good evening, my name is Grace Lammy, and the next song we're, we're going to sing is Who Has Seen the Wind. I memorized this poem over this fall. I like this song because it is calm and peaceful at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy Who Has Seen the Wind. Thank you, Grace. Thank you. 
Well, at this point, I do want to give a special shout out to our guest musicians. We have joining us on violin one, Mr. Bassam Nashawadi. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Bassam's been playing with us for a few concerts now. I think this is the third one we've done together. Bassam and I have also gotten together and uh, done some Beethoven violin sonatas, and uh, that's been kind of fun. We need to get that uh, trio together sometime at some point. Yeah, we're going to do some uh, Beethoven trios. And then uh, we've got James Mack over here on violin two. <laughs> Known James for a long time, and it's great to have him with us for his second concert here. So. And now we have also Ms. Chi uh, Zhen Liu on cello. It's great to have Chi Zhen with us. Uh, I had not actually met her before tonight, and I reached out to Bassam and James both for a cellist recommendation to join us tonight, and they both said Chi Zhen Liu. And so here she is. Thank you, Chi Zhen. <laughs> we also have Adam McLeod playing trumpet for first grade. We heard that on Abinas Panbu. Thank you, Mr. McLeod. Well, for this next song, we need, let's see, what song are we on now? We got, ooh, that's right, we need Mr. Zane Roca, come on down. Good evening, my name is Zane Roca. Our next song was written for a celebration. There was a new railroad in Italy that would take people to the top of a mountain. Everyone was so excited they wrote a song for it. We have worked hard to memorize two whole verses of a town. We are excited to sing Funiculi Funicula. Thank you so much, Zane.
It's time for our very last song of the evening. Second grade. I'm so proud of the work that y'all been putting into this. Whether you've been with me in kinder, or joined us in first or second, I love teaching you all, and I consider you all the same group. And you've done a wonderful job, and it's been a joy teaching you so far this year. Proud of y'all. For this last song. Thank you. I need Miss Srivastava Silva. Srivastava Silva. Good evening. My name is Shania Srivastava Silva. Our next piece is a German song from the Baroque era. This was actually one of Johann Sebastian Bach's favorite songs. He and his wife played played it so much that everyone thinks he wrote it. This song is gentle and bittersweet, and the person in the song is asking someone to stay with them till the very end. We have worked hard on, excited, on the song and excited to share with you. Ladies and gentlemen, be stu by me. Second grade, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. It's a joy and a pleasure to be able to sing these songs with you, to make music together, and to celebrate 
goodness, truth, and beauty. With that, I'll hand it over to Headmaster Barushko. Wow. Thank you so much, Mr. Stroud. And thank you, parents. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for this celebration of song. You know, in this day and age where we hear of arts funding, of music funding being cut for schools across the country, I am so proud that the arts and music programs are alive and well at Great Hearts Forest Heights. So. I had to make a quick list of the people that we are so grateful for that made tonight possible. First of all, our talented and dedicated music teacher, Mr. Stroud. Thank you so much. I know we already thanked them. I know we already thanked them, but also our accompanists did such a beautiful job just complimenting the students. Um, our classroom teachers and other school staff, thank you so much for joining and just supervising the students in the John Wesley room and supporting through the rehearsals. Thank you. Our students, they worked so hard and they were so proud to just present this for you tonight. So thank you students, great job. But finally, all of you that are here tonight, um, parents, family members, thank you so much for choosing Great Hearts Forest Heights for your child's education. Thank you for trusting us. Thank you for taking the extra time out of your busy schedule to wait in car line every day to bring your students here tonight. It just makes such a difference and we are so thankful for you students. Let's give your parents a round of applause. So thank you, we wish you a happy holiday season. For dismissal, if you still are waiting for a kindergartner or a first grader, kinder and first grade are still in the John Wesley room if you haven't picked up yet. For second grade, We'll ask you in just a moment, you can come up to the stage for second grade, but please don't come on to the stage. The teachers will be waiting and just kind of point to the student and the teachers will get the student out to you. So thank you so much again.